You still play it some? As in... Oh, right, Overwatch. Yeah, I don't know. I quit a long time ago, because I was just... I would only ever play... My Overwatch story is I would just only ever play Pharah, and then I kind of realized I just wished that I was playing, like, Quake or something instead, and I just didn't really care to play anything but uh, Pharah, because I just like to just rocket jump and blow people up with the rocket, so... It's the first view. Well, I, uh, yeah, glad you're enjoying it. What has surprised you two about the HRT journey? Because when I was in my late teens, I was, um, expecting to kind of transition. I don't know if I've talked to you guys about this, actually. I've talked about this before on stream. I didn't ever end up doing it, but it was like mid to late teens, I was really considering transitioning a lot, like for years. Like that's what I felt like my future was. Until later on, I was just more comfortable with who I was and I didn't really feel like I needed to change anything. And I feel like what I wanted to change was kind of based on things that didn't really justify me um, changing. I just didn't really feel like it was um, the the way for me, you know, so. I don't really feel like that's too much information or anything. I've been pretty honest and transparent about it in the past, but... What are the ups and downs? Of, uh, what, 14 months or 24? 25! The first thing I would I was doing when I was thinking about it was I spent a lot of money on like body hair removal. That's something I still do regularly, but I feel like at this point it's just like a personal grooming, like a personal choice thing. Like it's not really um not really based on gender things now. It's just like I regardless of if I identify male or female, I do not like body hair on me. Like I really don't like it, so I do spend money. I invest money effectively into getting rid of body hair. I got- I've got my face lasered dozens of times. Um, like as young as 16 I was having like... thick, like dark dots on my face. It was pretty bad, and I just hated that. Like, no matter how you slice it, I really didn't like that. So I, um, eventually, like, that's why I looked into hair removal solutions. about who you are you should be. Just definitely know that the decision's up to you and not anyone else. Just think about what makes you happy. Don't worry about fitting in with anyone's like idealizations or anyone's standards except your own. That was a bit of a gross burp swallow thingy. Started getting rashes when you shave your legs in high school. I, um... It's weird because when I... If I shave my legs, it's very itchy and annoying. But if I shave my arms, I feel nothing. Like, it's very... It's, like, fine. I, like... Just, you know, wet shave. Like, my forearms or whatever. It actually, like, it feels fine. But if I do my legs, it's actually, like, really... I don't get rashes. I can't say it's that extreme. But it gets, like, really itchy. Yeah, so because I've got the dark, thick hair, I can do, like, any form of laser and it's really effective. And I'm like, I want to get rid of my... I tried Nair once and it did nothing, and I'm like, this is actually a scam. I tried it once and it actually did not do anything. I, I think it's actually, like, a scam. Harry Manka shaving sucks. I feel like it's better if you accept it, because they have to worry about it. Mm, we can do this, actually. I'm gonna do this. 4k to revenge, but that's a lot. 
I probably have spent about 4k total on body hair removal, and I still have... I still got some patchiness on, like, outside of my face. Like, my arms and legs... Oh shit, I don't want to play this. I'll play this. My arms and my legs, really... I need to keep lasering them, but they're quite expensive to, like, do IPL and whatever for. I still have... It's not... You can't really notice it because I've shaved recently, but I still have some patchiness. Please, no bear trap. Nice. Holy shit. Holy shit. This won't be ultra fast because I have to do cards either, yeah. I don't know, like... Because I... I don't know. If I was, like, an old man, I would love to have, like, a god beard, you know, and long hair. I think that'd be pretty fucking cool, but that's not happening anymore. I'm just never going to grow out that much facial hair. It's not going to be really possible. I gotta do Kazi because I'm 200 short, but I do have that in my hand and I made sure to keep that. Pulling it out would just kill the hair cells under the skin. Yeah, it's interesting. Um. That it doesn't really work like that. Mm, give me... Fuck, nothing. I, I was literally going for that invigoration each time. She came out earlier. I mean, what, people say better late than never or whatever. I never really feel like it's too late, you know. And if anything, like, I feel like rushing a decision like that is not too healthy. I feel like, um, probably it's better that you've had a long think about it before you started. Because it's not really a decision to be taken lightly, you know. There are probably people in the world that have been diagnosed with proper, like, gender dysphoria and not doing it because they just don't want to go through the process. Yo, Shay, what's up? Thank you for the good luck, I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I don't know, I'm the same type of man, because like, having decided to not transition or anything, I really am not qualified to talk about a lot of it. Like, I liked it, I, I don't know, I just thought I was the same, and I was... I could really comment on how to change and what to do and how to make the decision, but I really can't say anything about it. I can only really say how I felt at the time, like I don't really even know if I truly felt dysphoric. I definitely felt some level of dysphoria, but not it's not really, I don't, I can't really tell if it was specifically tied to gender dysphoria. Like, how I appear now is maybe more a matter of taste rather than my actual identity, like, I feel like it's more based on how I want to appear, rather than who I want to be. You know, like, so that's kind of why I look like how I look now, and I don't really identify any differently. And I feel like, for me personally, and I can't really say anything about anyone else, like I always say how I feel, I feel like the less complicated I made it, the better it was. Like, when I just kind of realized I could look like this and didn't have to really change anything physically, majorly, I was just not really as bothered anymore, I was a lot more clear-headed, and I was just not really, like, as fussed. I felt like a huge weight off my shoulders, and I can't really say how anyone else feels about it, that's just kind of how my process went. Because a problem I had when I was identifying as female on Spaces when I was, like, uh, like late teens, like on Discord or whatever, I felt like I now had to meet the expectations of, like, the other gender, and I feel like that kind of reminded me that what I wanted is like a bit of freedom from expectations. 
And then I realized after that, and this is really simplifying several years, um, that I just kind of was, these were expectations that I had in my head that weren't even, like, realistic. It was just kind of based on, like, you know, boomers or whoever. You know, and I was like, I can just, I actually can do whatever the fuck I want. Like, it's a pretty fucking free world, you know. I could just kind of appear how I want. I don't really need a particular identity. And I'm only really talking about my own behalf, really. I can't say how complicated or serious it is for anyone else. Please don't be a full rank trap. Thank god. Because I really didn't want to fucking safeguard that. Alright, I hope my next few duels are good, because this could be the best... This is the best Weevil exit of the day. That was like a second or two off gold. It's going to be really hard to gold that guy. Like, nearly impossible. But that was pretty much S plus tier. Like, that duel doesn't really get any better than that apart from reaction times. My fat distribution is fucking awful. I am skinny fat, so it all just pulls up in my stomach. So even, like, I have a gut when I'm really skinny, like, underweight. For me to not have a gut, I need to be, like, deadly. Deadly underweight. Like, actually insanely underweight. The only real remedy to it is I need to have a really strict, serious workout routine. Sustain that for a really long time. Like, I would have to build muscle everywhere and then slim down fat while maintaining muscle. Like, that's the only way I could not look really bad. This is an interesting hand. Yeah, no, I kind of simplified everything because it was just becoming, like, overwhelmingly stressful. And that really is it. A little bit gutter healthy. Uh, a little bit, not like a bulge of a gut when you are like skin and bone ever else. Like that's just kind of weird, you know. Holy, what the fuck is this actually? This is very interesting. I really hope this is not a high attack monster. It really shouldn't be. Oh, yeah, that's nice. This is all three of the equips I have that goes on anything, really. I mean, I got Sword of Dark Destruction, but that doesn't really fucking do anything. And Joe Pounce. I don't know how much that is in kilograms. I think it's about how much I weigh. Fifty kilograms. Yeah, I'm also about fifty. Uh, let me check if I've got something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, um, I'm about 50 kilos. 55 is, like, usually my max. I don't weigh myself. I just try to make sure that I have a fair amount of calories each day. Because if I gain any weight, it literally just pulls up in my stomach. There's no other difference. And it's just really weird to just have, like, this keg here. When everything else is really skinny. Organ fat. I've never heard of that before. That's scary. Usually you find that stuff out through like a health scare. It's the only way I found out about anything with my body like low blood pressure and slight anemia, stuff like that. A lot of the ailments that I have are not really serious, which is a good thing, but it's just things I do need to maintain, like, constantly.
I need four more monsters in the grave so I can OGK him. I'm being on the safer side here. This should be Mooka Mooka Lethal. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I pulled up the graveyard. I was counting because I was like, I have to kill with this basically. If he defends, I'll try to trigger the Ika thing. Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I got another card I'm getting rid of here, so if I miscounter by one, I'm fine. There's no point attacking him with this, really. Because my Mooka is just going to kill him. Holy shit, this is actually a really fucking good run. Like, wh this is actually psycho. Also, I did miscount by one, but that's lucky because there was one more in the field. This is actually insane. Uh, like every every one of these duels has been really good. Here comes uh, something's gonna ruin the run. It always happens, though. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm way ahead now, so I'm hoping when I to get Mirror World and Ishtar, but I'm definitely going to be playing safer rather than like aggressive strats if I ever have an option. With pace like this, I probably will pay attention to chat less and just focus on the game until it like dies. Because this is wild. It's like really good pace actually. Um, hmm. You know what? I'll do this. Typical. Uh, you know what? It's better than fucking. I honestly shouldn't complain. It's better than Mirror Wall. I wish I had drawn into other stuff. I think this is going to be stronger than Minamushi Warrior now. So I'm playing this anyway. Yeah, it's 200 stronger, but it's it's stronger nonetheless. It might make a difference. I don't have any Warriors to draw anymore, which is interesting, because actually if I drew into one now, I get like two shot with it, but I'm just going to do this. Um, a zombie wins here, actually. I guess this zombie wins. This is the fastest thing. That's pretty good. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, I am kind of hoping <laughs> that this ends up being a pretty decent run, but I don't know. I shouldn't really get ahead of myself. I'm only like five duels in. I'm only five duels in, so I shouldn't really get ahead of myself, but it's good pace, so whatever. I never needed it to be green for it to be a good run necessarily, so I just, I don't know, I feel like... Like, if it dies to RNG, I don't really care. It's a bit of a disappointment, but if I get good RNG and I misplay, then it's a huge throw. They're really annoying. A huge throw is if you keep mashing X after this duel, you can re-enter it and you lose a lot of time. Because it's one of the only duels in the game that, like, the camera and the cursor doesn't move off of that duel. So if you really get ahead of yourself after you beat Ishtar and you just keep mashing X, you will re-enter the duel and you will lose a bunch of time. Thank fucking god we actually have some good card here. This is really good. Not like free, but it's very solid to have. It's pretty hard for him to beat this, and... Oh my god, really? Really? Alright, change of plan. 
change of fucking plan. Holy shit. What a shame. Not good. Not good at all. Try to OTK him with Mooka Mooka, I think is like... Best option. Um, I'm gonna push this forward. I don't know if that makes a, di a difference actually, but he might move his card away. Really hoping OTK came here. I haven't really counted. I probably should, but change of plans. So I just hope the skills him. He really should. If not, I got Kazi next turn if he doesn't magic jam it. Hi Atmos, thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. This run right now is pretty good. I know I'm gonna lose my time here, but it's still very good. It's still really good, honestly. Yeah, it was very good. Considering how scary that was, he opened with a card to the left. Uh, that was fine. I don't really wouldn't have played that any differently. <clears throat> how uh, tall or short are you, by the way? Because I'm like five foot five. I'm like 165, 164 centimeters. I'm pretty short. Five foot seven. Yeah, I think that's I don't know, pretty reasonable height. Yeah, I'm like 5'5", five, 5'6". Five, five, I think 5'5". Five, five. Pretty small. You wish it was shorter? I mean, you're not, not like absurdly tall. Like 169 centimeters is what, the same? Like 5'7"? Approximately. You need to be like over 180 to be uh, 6 foot. Uh, this is a bit of a shame. This is pretty bad. Oh, this is really dodgy, actually. Uh, this sucks. This is really dodgy. I need a zombie, like, ace up. Hope he doesn't attack me here. Yeah, cool. Alright. I attack with this, and then I'll see what's in my hand. I need, uh, like, 1100, so... But if I get 2200, I can kill him with just some second attack. Not bad, nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a fine three turn. There's really nothing wrong with that. That guy could be a lot worse. Four foot nine, that's quite small. Hmm. I do still want to finish a good first half. There's still like any of these next four guys can kill my run. Necromancer, if he dark holes, can kill this run. Uh, Seto Kaiba's the most likely to kill it, actually. Like, if I get two bad Setos, it's just none of this matters, really. If I get even one bad Seto, it's still playable, but the rest needs to be really good. Don't need girlfriend's height. Just get the tape measure out. <laughs> or, um, put a mark on the wall. Like, have them stand against the wall and, like, mark it. And then measure that. Put a, put a ruler up. Mm, all right. Let me do this. Get to Sydney real quick. Why not? Book a flight right now. Start walking. <laughs> Start fucking walking. It should be three turn. Unless he played uh, Dragon Zombie or some shit. Oh, nice. Sick. 
That's actually pretty fucking good. I think we, we should be green now. After this. It's pretty much went exactly how I wanted it to. Let's jump in the box. That sounds very mafia. Need like a breathing hole. Oh, we're green. Nice. We're green again! I didn't expect to be green on that guy. This is pretty interesting pace, honestly, still. Ask why not? I mean, if it's your partner, you should be able to feel comfortable asking a question like what their height is. A great floating. I don't- I've actually not seen Madagascar. It's weird how big movies like that were in the 2000s, but that was about the time I was like growing out of those movies, so I didn't end up watching Madagascar. There was a bunch of movies around that time I didn't really see, like Kung Fu Panda as well. Weird Madagascar phase. I think I have... Oh, I used to have like a Madagascar cup. Like a white plastic cup that I would make iced coffees in when I was like 12 or something. Hmm. This is actually pretty interesting to play. I want to be safe here, really. I want to be rather safe. Because my hand's decent. My hand's actually decent enough. I'm actually gonna check what equipped that was, because that kind of matters here. Alright, legendary sword. Mm. He should attack into this and just die. That won't be any more than 2100. All hail King Julian, that is quite random. I don't know. <laughs> Where did, I don't even know what that is. There you go, there's the 2100. It was not going to be any higher than that. A size attack card, I can play the star. I get spellbound here, but it doesn't really matter. I don't know, this wasn't the best play, honestly. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Mm. I think this is actually the play, because if I attack him directly now, he will move away from the Yami tile. I can't kill him this turn anyway, so I think I get rid of that, push this here, he moves to the right now, and he should play to the right, and then I attack him twice here, because there's nothing in the way. Uh, not the best duel, but considering the pace I'm on, I don't really mind that it wasn't so great, as long as it wasn't a run-ender, I didn't really care too much. You didn't get a serious answer. Tension. Alright, so we are green going into Seto, but if Seto does not play nice, we are fucked. There is a lot of uh, duels in the game where... Okay, obviously like the whole run is dictated by RNG, there's no way around that. But... You do need to play the best hands possible, so a lot of duels, your plays matter a lot, your decision making matters a lot. With Seto Kaiba, it is the most, like, it's like, out of the, it's definitely the top three of most RNG relative to skill. Like, Seto Kaiba needs to be good. You need to have a good hand for him, and he needs to have a good hand to enable himself to move forward, so. Uh, even though base is green right now, which is incredible, to be green. Seto Kaiba can just fuck me completely. Like, he, he really just can, so... Yeah, it's pretty scary. If Seto and MFL SK go really well, we are looking at, like, a... Uh, 31. And that's kind of what I'm after. You know. For the first half, I mean, like, MFL SK being beaten in 31-something. The 
the rear 4442. That is the highest number I've seen in a Nemo prefix. There must be a lot of the real on Twitch. So I need a really high attack card to open with, or Dimension Hall, or it's probably over. If he, if I don't have Dimension Hall and he doesn't move forward, the best move is honestly to restart. It just is. And I mean, like, go, like, surrender immediately and go back into the duel and hopefully get past him. It's the best thing I could do if it doesn't go well. Okay, we're gonna do this, 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 this. I need him to move forward, then I need to draw to Mammoth Graveyard or um, a Slate Warrior. Nice, so that's good. Him playing to the right is good, he moved forward, I get to attack him for free, and then hopefully I can kill him this turn. I need a Mammoth Graveyard or a Slate Warrior, they're the two cards I'm looking for. Um, I guess I can do this. We should kill him. Uh, this is overkill, but I, I just want to be safe as possible. This is good enough. That's very good. Very, very happy with that. Alright, if uh, this boss is really good, this is a really, really good run. This is really good pace right now. I actually can't believe I'm green. I'm not going to lie. I actually... It's funny because the goal is, you know, to kind of to be to PB, but it's been a long time of not having anything quite like this, so it's uh, it's very interesting. <laughs> you know, you'd think after enough runs dying uh, after green, you actually would, like, be used to it, but you have such long gaps in this game of having no paces that when you finally get it, you're like, wait a minute, like, your body's just like, how do I process this? That being said, my pace is good enough that I can kind of just fucking calm it down and just, like, think about what my moves are going to be, and it's still reasonable. The scary part on pace is actually when you take a risk and it goes wrong, and then trying to recover from that is really difficult. So sometimes when you're on really good pace and it's really tense, you actually just want to play the safest thing possible, or... What I like, generally, is if you just draw a hand where there's only one reasonable way to play it. And even if that goes wrong, you kind of knew that you had no other option. It's easier to swallow that pill. If you knew that there was, like, only one way you should have really played it. Like, if there was, like, you had two options and one was, like, over 90% success and the other one was, like, less than 10% and you... The 90% doesn't work out, it's like, well, that's just unlucky, you know? Okay. He's pretty interesting. I want him to move forward, that's very important. Alright, this is actually really good. This is really good. This is insanely good. It's not going to be world record, but it's really good uh, to have. This is honestly very ideal for this guy. It's really good. I kind of regret having so much caffeine because my body is like, whoa, holy shit, holy fuck, I'm just going to go for it, nice, that is one of the fastest ever first half completions of this game, so that's pretty cool, that might be the second fastest actually, I don't know, actually, it, it's either the first or second fastest with uh, the password setup that I have. This is actual, like, this is very legit pace. Like, this is really legit pace. 31 first off is very good. Like, only... I was gonna say only two people. I'm actually... <laughs> Holy shit. Rico, thank you very much for the raid. This is insane, because I'm actually on insanely good pace right now. So you guys get to watch... The, everything folds out and everything crumble. Or you get to watch something really incredible. Uh, so let's see. Welcome everyone. This is a pace I haven't got in a long time. Uh, 
I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm the only person to actually get a 31 first half in this game. The 31 XX Lancastrians. Uh, so it's quite rare. Very rare. Um, so if the run dies to RNG, it's kind of lame, it's whatever. But... If I get good RNG and I choke, it would be very catastrophically annoying. Like, it would be really gutting to fuck up an opportunity to PB if I was given one. So, I just gotta hope for the best luck possible and not misplay, really, is kind of all I can do. I only get a pace like this every few weeks. Honestly, so... I can't really get ahead of myself. There has been very long streams of bad luck, and I like there's literally 10 people here who could kill a run. I mean, Tristan can't really kill the run, but um, you can lose like a minute to him if you don't draw anything. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I should. I, I. I. can't really be too proud of this and get ahead of myself. Of course, we swap sides. I'm trying to speed run here. I don't really care about it. The, the, I mean, I already won and did everything for the red rose, so now it's time to do the white rose side. Anyway, um, even a duel like Taylor, if I get really unlucky, could be pretty brutal. I could lose a lot of time. Tristan, the crap walker. The big run killers are my Marco and the last four. They're the people I'm most likely to lose a run on. So I kind of want to smooth Taya Tristan and then not get eaten alive by Mai when I enter that duel. I just want to kind of bank as much time as I can early. I shouldn't have kept Yukazi, honestly. It's pretty, pretty dumb. This is already a huge risk. I need to draw into something pretty strong for this to be good. Otherwise, I'm actually in a lot of trouble. So that's a Dark Witch. It's 1800 attack. Ideally, we beat 1800. We can defend with this. And she won't kill it. If I leave it in attack, she will attack into it, and then my car just dies, and I'm pretty bad position. I'm gonna check my hand first, in case I draw a terrain card, because that's the play. Actually, I think this is the play. The Mooka Mooka, I think, is the play I should be able to kill here with the Mooka Mooka. I'm just going to do it anyway. To... Definitely don't want to fuse away the Mooka Mooka, so I'm using the Yami there to break up the fusion. Otherwise, it would fuse my Mooka Mooka away into a uh, Stone Ghost. Not bad. Not bad. This should really be lethal. It should be like 3k or something. 3.9. There you go. Not bad at all. I know I lose time, but honestly, some of these duels can literally, like, destroy uh, you if things go wrong. Alright, so Tristan, um, he's pretty, he's honestly the least difficult run in the game. The only way it can really go wrong is if you just fail to draw damage, then you will lose time on him. But he shouldn't really, like, kill your run. He really shouldn't. Thank you for the good luck, Filthy Casuals. I appreciate it. I really would love to just have really easy-to-play hands really fast for the rest of the duel to make it a lot less stressful. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how far we go. We'll see if we can... We can always, like... We can have a really good run to a grandpa and then just not draw lap breakers and just lose all of our pace. Anything's possible. And I think being nervous and... 
stressed out is not going to help, so I'm just trying to chill, you know? I should have got rid of the Violet Crystal. I need to draw a zombie. It, like, it's imminent. I have- I kept Mammoth, so I just need to draw a zombie. I should have got rid of the Violet Crystal. These are the little things that matters a lot, because if I don't draw a zombie here, I'm actually kind of fucked. Alright, we'll just do this. This is good. I'm very, very happy to see a dragon zombie right there. Because uh, this is... It's, it's fine now. This is going to be fine. So we kill him. And then... Mai is very difficult. Marco is very difficult. These are two people who can realistically kill our run no matter how good the pace is, so... Just gotta hope we have really good draws. And we don't get fucked over. That goes for both of them. I can't really say we're in the final stretch until, like, the last four. Um, we haven't really qualified for world record until we get to the last few duels, or have a real chance, even though the pace is really good. If we don't draw anything go good on Mai, we can get absolutely annihilated. And I would be more upset to... misplay than I would to be getting bad luck right now. If I got obnoxious luck, it would be disappointing, but it's like, whatever. If I got good luck and I misplayed, I I would be I would be pretty fucking gutted. Interesting. Okay. Very interesting. Very good to have dimensional. I just hope she doesn't open with a trap card here. All right, that's really good. That it's not a fucking trap card. Very very glad about that. We had a- we honestly have a pretty decent hand, all things considered. Um... I need to deal, I guess, 2300 still, if not 1800, and then I can cause you the turn after, and I'd be okay with that. I wouldn't feel too gutted about that. As long as I can manage to do something here. Best card to draw here is a Slate Warrior. I don't really know what else gives us 2300. I'm gonna attack with this, and then next turn I'm gonna attack with my... Um... I mean, actually, this was kind of stupid. I should have attacked there with my uh, Cybersaurus. And then I could have caused it to turn off the bat. But this will be fine. This will be fine, actually. I can still win next time. Not a big deal. Because I would still need to four-turn this anyway. This is still fine. Alright, we got past one of the run-enders. That's pretty good, honestly. I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully get past Marco, <laughs> hopefully. That will be really nice. That will be really cool. I actually can't believe I'm green. That is so weird. <laughs> this is actually so weird. We're not even close to the end, really. We're not even close. I just gotta take things one duel at a time. Marco's super important to get right. He's really important to focus on. Joey also can troll you and kill a run, but he's not as nasty as mine, Marco. And Shardy, I probably would just fucking play sh safe Shardy unless I draw, like, Slate Warrior or something.
like this. I like this hand a lot. This is actually really good. This is really good. That's another run ender out of the way. I hope Joey doesn't troll me. Shoddy, I'll probably play safe. The duel that really matters the most is like Grandpa, probably. Until the end. The thing is, I could make it to the end and then MFLC can end my run. He can OTK me. That's always possible, so. I don't know, I like, I just gotta fucking chill, honestly, like, I'm not even near the end. I'll worry about being anxious when I get to the end on pace, if that happens. I need to think a lot about Joey, I really, it's not a duel I want to misplay or fuck up. Because he can punish you really badly, relative to how it could be. I can't believe I'm green. This is so weird. I wish I had nerves of steel, but I I don't know. I can't bullshit. I'm, my heart rate is not normal right now. It's definitely higher than normal. Um, hmm. I want to draw a zombie, and this should be pretty good. Also, I don't really think dimensional here is the play. I think dimensional in the middle is better, but I think it's actually fine. This should be playable. It's fine. Zombie is ideal. Uh, actually this works. This works. This is fine. I just needed something that would have been 2k or higher with the Mega Morph, so I'm pretty happy that I drew something. I also drew the Metal Dragon. Metal Dragon, I guess, is technically safer, but whatever. Is this more damage? I don't even know how good the fucking Joey needs to be to save time, because that was really solid. The Joey split is really unrealistic, so, like, losing time, I don't really give a fuck about that, because that was a really good duel. Alright, we promoted, so I don't have to worry about that shit anymore. That's nice. Uh, Shardy, I think I'm just gonna play him safe unless I draw Slate Warrior. Or I don't draw anything that I could play safe, because safe Shardy is really not that bad. It's honestly not that much slower than some of the riskier stuff you could play on him. Grandpa, if I don't draw a Lab Breaker, it's gonna kill the whole run. Um, and then I'll worry about the last three if I get past Grandpa. So, I'm not really too worried right now. I'm actually after Joey, I'm a lot less anxious. Um, because, like, I don't need to worry about the final boss. He's always going to be brutal. He's always going to be rough. But I'll worry about him when I get to him. Shoddy, I'll just try to play safe as long as I have a safe hand. If I have Slate Warrior, I'll play, but... Mm, Alright, I think I'll do this. I think this is a reasonable play. It's still relatively safe. So we activate the terrain and then we send a really powerful card at him. And then next turn, if he doesn't play anything or he plays out of the way, I can three turn him. So I'm gonna be doing this. I make sure I have 
I'm dumb. I should have kept the fucking Skull Servant, because that was 1300. I should have just kept that. That was stupid, but whatever. It doesn't make a difference if he plays in front of him next turn when he moves out the way. Yeah, it doesn't really make- unless he activates the Dimensional Heal. Okay, this is whatever. He should just play out of the way to the left now. He really should. I don't actually think I need to move my deck later for safety purposes. Yeah, he's just gone. As he just activates Dimensional Heal. Alright, cool. Rip Ross, how's the run going? Very well. I will be focusing on this run. I'm at the final four uh, on world record pace. I need to beat the next four duels within, what, 11 minutes? Ish. Which is doable. So hi, but I'm very focused at the moment. Um, again, Grandpa, I need a Lab Breaker ASAP, and I need to not fuse it away before I, um... The number one thing I don't want to do is fuse away a Grandpa. Uh, sorry, fuse away a Lab Breaker on Grandpa. That's the only thing I'll be truly upset over, I think, if I did that and lost the run to that. That'll be the one thing that I'll be like, that was so stupid. I just threw a whole run to the, like a really rookie error. Even like I if I have three good duels and one average one, it's still fine. Hopefully this guy's good so I can afford for someone else to be kinda shit. Um, no luck, no dice. I'm only keeping the KTW because I need to draw a Labbreaker ASAP. Two of my Labbreakers are 4 SP. I'm gonna activate this now in case that's a Magic Jammer. It would save me time. There you go. Because he won't move that card anymore. That's brutal. I just have to get rid of this. All of it. Alright, sucks to lose a lot of time here. I still need a lap breaker, like, just as soon as possible, really. But we're definitely gonna be red here. Like, we've already lost, like, over a minute for sure. So yeah, Grandpa's like literally killing a run. Everything until now has been so good, so well played, so lucky. Until now, and we're just getting eaten alive. It's very typical, very typical Duels of the Roses speed run. <laughs> Not really too surprised, honestly. I, I got nothing. I, I literally have nothing. I've drawn halfway into my deck, and I have none of my lap breakers. I have three lap breakers in my deck. I'm halfway through my deck and I haven't seen a single one. Like, it's very typical, very typical of this, of this situation. That I'm on literal, like, very good pace, like, better, like, honestly better than, like, world record pace. And this happens. <sighs> it's annoying, but whatever. I just gotta fucking play. I just gotta play. If my next three duels are good, it's still playable. Please, Dragon Zombie. Any second that I can save, holy shit. Guck friend, Paul. Yeah, I need to draw one of those three Labyrinth Breakers to do this as fast as possible. And I just didn't draw them until like five turns in, which is classic grandpa, really. Luckily the run's so good it's kind of playable right now still, but yeah, it's just annoying. Because now I don't really have a buffer of time anymore. I really don't. I have to have these next three duels be really good. They all need to be really good now. Any more bad duels and it's over. If that's the only bad duel in the whole run, it's still very good. But if that duel was really good, I could afford to have one more bad duel at the end. Which would have been very nice, because now I just need like everything to be like really good. So here we go. Uh, we still technically can do this. It's still technically possible. 
but if I draw bad hands on any of them, it's just not going to happen. I need it basically three turn or four turn, like all these guys. There's a bunch of strategies I can play for this guy. I just have to pick whatever I open with, really. He's not too complex. He's only complex if you don't draw anything good on him, then it's really dog shit. Yugi is very similar. Yugi is very similar. Alright, the reason I'm doing this is that I have nothing. My only real options are to draw into a terrain tile. Uh, sorry, a terrain card. Or a Slate Warrior still. They're my only two options. If I want this to be good still. Big shame. Um, huge shame. I need, um, like a plant now. Plant or a Yami. But this is probably over. I think. Courtesy of Grandpa. I need to draw better cards. I really need better stuff. Plant or a Yami. Plant or a Yami. Alright. At least I got something. At least I got fucking something. But I, this is actually over now, I think. This is actually over. I can kill next turn with Mammoth, but I'm at 44, 30 probably. It's looking pretty over. My Yugi has to be like Dimensional Slate Warrior. I can't really afford to have anything else. In all honesty, like I just can't. That Grandpa really killed the run. This Bakura would have been fine if my Grandpa was really good. I'd have no complaints about it, but I need everything to be super good. Like, and it's just not really good enough. Alright, um, like, I don't know, I literally need the next two duels to be, like, S plus tier. Alright, it's over. I need them both to be, like, stupidly good. If they're both S plus, actually, I like, I'm... It's pretty good, in the end. So this next duel matters a lot. If I don't draw anything good on Yugi, it's definitely over. I'm not just saying that, okay, it's definitely over. If I don't draw anything good on him to open with. Then if I if I get like a three turn Yugi, I need a good hand on him FLC. Uh, to beat that fast enough as well. But this run definitely was always on until that Grandpa. That Grandpa really fucked this all up. That, like, Grandpa can unironically be like two to two and a half minutes faster than what that was. Um, and that's, I can't tell you how big that fucking difference is. The fact that I'm still, it's still possible after that is crazy. It's actually wild. Uh, alright. This is decent. This is good. This is actually very good. I mean, I don't really know what that is, but I kind of just fucking have to go for this, honestly. Like, I really just have to go for this. I just have to attack him here. Otherwise, I'm not going to get it, so... I need this to not be a trap card. Nice. Hopefully, I can just attack him next turn with my zombie, and he doesn't play a trap card here. And this is fine, it's like playable still. That's a monster, so we just win. Alright, it's still doable. This is actually, we can actually technically world record. Very unlikely, but it is possible. If I get a really good MFLC, I get it. I can't really afford to play him safe. So I just have to hope that I draw a really good hand and I just have to fucking play it. And that actually makes me feel the most relaxed that I've felt in a while. Um, it, that I really needed that Yugi, and now it's really down to luck. 
If I don't draw a really good hand, I have to draw as if I'm going to draw into a good hand. If I draw a really good hand, I just need to fucking send it and hope he doesn't dark hole me. Um, but you know what? Who cares? Hi, Stan. Thank you very much for the belief. I need all the prayers right now. I really just... All I need right now... I need... If I get a three-turn final boss... Right now, this is it. We just need this... This one duel. Now that we're here, we just need this one duel to be good. What matters the most right now is actually where I enter the duel on, like what frame, because that decides the RNG. And I don't know what frame that is, I just have to press X and hope. So, uh, here we go. I got about a minute to beat this guy. A minute and a half max. So I have to just go for a three turn, really. I just have to fucking hope for the best. I I want to draw into a Violet Crystal, but this is fine because this is like the only way to play this hand. This is the only way to play this hand, so I don't really care. I really want a Violet Crystal to make this as safe as possible. Otherwise, he's going to annihilate me, and I can't even two-shot with that, so I really need any equip right now. I need this to work. I just need this to fucking work. Pray for me, everyone. Pray for me. Pray for me. Pray for me. This is really important. If he plays out of the way, this is it. If he plays to the right, it's over. I need him to play to the left here. We did it. We fucking did it! We actually did it! I can't believe it! We did it! I'm the fucking man! Holy shit! Oh, I could not have asked for a fucking better MFLC. I could not have asked for a better final boss. We still don't know exactly why he does that. It has something to do with having 2700 attack exactly and him having 2700 on the first turn, which means we needed 2700 attack and he needed to Ryoku a gate dig. I, I honestly could not have asked for a better final boss when it really fucking mattered. It's fucking over, man! Holy shit! We broke a five year long world record. No one even fucking challenged it in half a fucking decade. I grinded my fucking ass off for this and it's over! It's just done! It's so good! The only bad fucking duel was Grandpa. Everything else was so fucking good. I played fucking perfectly for an hour under stress. That is a run. That is a fucking speed run. You guys just watched the fastest ever completion of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses on a console in history. In fact, on anything, even faster than emulator. You guys just saw the fastest ever completion of this game in the history of it existing. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 it's over. I can't believe it's over. I actually don't, I don't, I don't fucking know. I, oh man, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of that. I'm so proud of that. That's so good. Oh, yes. And you know what the best thing is? I didn't drop any frames, so if the power abruptly cut out, it would still be valid on the VOD. So that means we can do our speech, we can watch the credits, we can really soak it in. Ho oh, ho ho! Ah! Victory never tasted so sweet, man. Holy shit. It took five fucking years for someone to step up to the challenge, and we did it. That is world record. You guys just saw the world record. Oh my god. I'm so glad that MFLC was that good. I'm so glad. I I could I I don't think I could have played any better that whole fucking run.
I, I don't think- I would have not fucking changed a single fucking goddamn thing. I- this is- like, this is all the playing over the last, like, year, all the grinding. That- this is the final result of that! I'm so happy, man! I'm so fucking happy. I can't believe it! Thank you guys so much for being here. I, I, I'm sorry if I'm missing any subs. I don't even know what the fuck is going on, but... <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. My god. Oh. I don't give a fuck what I said in that hour. That's a run. That's a run. I can't believe it, man! I can't believe it! You just walked into the world record. Oh my god, that is it. That is the world record. Holy mother of fuck. I can't believe it. Ah, edit layout. I gotta expand this to take a screenshot. Oh my god. Uh... Hold on a minute. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what to think about. Thanks guys for all the subs. Sorry for missing anyone. Holy shit. I, I just like I can't believe this. I just like what the fuck What the hell man? What we actually did it. I mean that was like as if there was ever any doubt I just didn't know how many fucking months it was gonna take man. This was not easy I don't know if you guys are watching. I don't know if you guys saw how many fucking attempts 2217 attempts before we got this. That's a lot. That's a lot Oh my fucking god Seriously Holy shit. I can't believe it. I actually can't believe this shit, man. Like, what the fuck? Uh, it's finally over, man. It's actually just done. <laughs> Holy god, I can't believe it. Everything has come full circle, man. Holy shit. Oh my god. So good, so good, so good. Before the world falls down, after the credits, I'm going to stop recording. And then we're going to talk all we want, because I don't care about that. So, if you're on YouTube, sub. <laughs> ah, holy shit, it's over.